yesterday I said I'd clean up all my tools, even my bench, and we'd uh, see about starting this thing. Like, kickstart it, like. Alright, let's put the uh, body down carefully. I've got some wiring here still. the body to the chassis here. Now, the carburetor's on it. We know it's junk. As is it's junk. I still hope to save it. Oh, yeah, it's going to be really hard to shoot ether of it, isn't it? Not thinking this all the way through. Alright. Let's open the body back up again. We don't need to be sitting on this thing to kick it in there. Alright. We'll shoot a little ether. Hopefully some of it gets through this carburetor. Maybe, maybe. that I greased up, I was worried they might have a problem. I better check into it. I'll get back to you. Alright, I took the carburetor apart a little bit so I could get the uh, slide up. It has a slide like a motorcycle carburetor would. Um, so I'm going to shoot a little ether in it. I have fuel running down a short section of fuel line into the carburetor. It's not all leaking out, which surprises the heck out of me. And I'm going to turn the engine over with the drill from the other side because I'm going to have to open up this Kickstarter stuff over there again. Alright. Well, I already heard it pop yesterday. We know it's going to do something. Alright, here we go. It's going to be loud. There's only five inches of tailpipe here. Header pipe. Ready? See if I can find a side handle for that drill before I lose a wrist. Well, I was unable to find a side handle for that Milwaukee hole shooter, so I opted for a less powerful drill motor with a little more leverage. We'll see if this one works. exhaust which is a good thing I think it's moving something through there you maybe that'd be good for a pop or two noise alert when it goes it's going big because ain't no pipe there <laughs> And then we remove the chunk. 
chuck from the drill. <laughs> I did this to my cordless drill also. Mm. It's going to go, you hear it. We ain't going to get there kicking it right now. So I'm going to have to go back to that nut that I don't want to use. Give me a moment because uh, I have carburetor parts on the table that are not replaceable. Okay, I'll move you over. I don't know, it's not a bad spot to be. Either way, it's going to be noisy. But you can watch me break my fingers over here. Oh boy. This tube's full of. Yeah. What size we got here? Of course, it ain't the same as the other side. I was using. A 1316 socket, which I had to drive on. So I found a six point socket for that. This is a 21, that's actually the right size metric. Uh, adapter. Wrong adapter. The other way has the three eighths. Here we go. Spray this while I'm spinning it. That'd be great. Bop, 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 bop. Guess I ruined that. When it kicks, it kicks. Well, I'm running out of drill motor options here. Uh, I don't want to kill myself. Oh. Hmm. Yep, I kind of ruined my right angle drill. That's too bad. When you need those, you need those. Well, going to have to think about this for a little bit. Catch you in a little bit. Well, it's the next day, and I had to make a little run to... Uh, Harbor Freight. What I was hunting for was a drill that is something smaller than the 8.5 amp motor that's in the Milwaukee Magnum hole shooter. I couldn't find my side handle for that drill here. I think it's at home in one of my toolboxes. I have two of those drills. One here in my shop and one in my garage at home. Um, and I think both the handles are there. But still, remember I was breaking the... Uh, uh, socket adapters with both that one and the whole hog. So I was looking for a drill that was less powerful and then also uh, slower. So this one's like uh, 1200 RPM at 6.3 amp motor. So this one should do uh, fine. Uh, of course picked up free tape measure and then you know with the 20% off coupon the whole purchase Today was a uh, $25.59. So you can't beat the price. It's got a 90 day warranty on it. If we're going to burn it up, we're going to burn it up today or tomorrow. Put the tape measure in the tape measure drawer. There's about half a dozen more of them things kicking around here somewhere. All right, let's uh, get this uh, drill out of the box and put it to work. All right, here we go again. See if we can't break something or blow something up. 
they topped off the two cycle fuel with just premium gas. Um, I felt like there was something getting through because there was fumes coming out the exhaust. So I feel like the carburetor is letting something through. So I just popped off the fuel line again. All right, let's try out this new drill. Gasoline. It all over. See if it fixes it. Yeah, that's hearing it run on gasoline. Shoot some more in there. That's a good sound, isn't it? getting too much fuel in there and it actually hydro locked it or something that hit pretty hard Woo but it didn't break my wrist that time but we broke another socket adapter but hey as far as I'm concerned it ran and now it's carburetor time so let's uh, take that carburetor back off of there carefully take it apart see if we can see what makes it tick and then we'll see if we can make it run better. Um, the slide was really stiff, but I got it to move yesterday. So we can get slide out of it okay. I've never worked on a carburetor that looks anything like that one. So uh, it's kind of got gas going into one side. And this is the carburetor venturi and slide and all that on the other. And what this thing is up here, I don't know. Is it adjustable? I don't know what it is. It's obviously a cable of some kind. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, I'll... Let's end the video here. Because now we've made it run. I'm calling it, we made it run. It fired many times in a row. It will run. It's just a matter of getting fuel to it properly with a carburetor. And if we can't sort this carburetor out, it's going to get a Makuni 22 millimeter or some aftermarket carburetor. But if at all possible, I'll make this one work. We'll give it an honest try. So next video will be carburetor. Um, we made it run. I'm happy about that. We added a drill motor to the collection and one more, where are we at? One more broken socket adapter. Yeah. Well, Harbor Freight's just down the street. That's how we get those. All right, gang. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Working on the 1959 Riverside Silver Pigeon by Mitsubishi. And we'll catch you on the next video.